At some point, I'll need to figure out how to actually edit this thing. Whoops, that was the wrong button. Back to, oh. Yes, it helps to actually be on the active camera. Here we go, and loop. And here we go. Hello, Bristol, my old friend. I won't do that again. Okay, Bristol, F2B. I believe this is, what did I set up? This is F2, the one with the weaker engine. All right, so context and understanding here. I have been flying a lot of De Havilland 4. However, I have a Bristol campaign with the uh, Royal Air Force Recon Corps. So I need to do a little bit of brisk fitting to get back in the swing of things before I go back into that campaign, because I need to finish that campaign. So we're back under dogfighting with a Bristol. Um, quick overview. Let's recenter the cockpit. That just seems weird. Quick overview. So up here, we have our whiskey compass in a much more convenient location. You have one single 30 caliber machine gun with about 900 rounds of ammo. You have, let's see, I don't remember what that is. I don't think it's important. You've got airspeed, which you can't see. You've got your, um, that thing behind the frames that you can't see is the step side step indicator. We have our RPM, which I believe on this plane is 20, as 2,000. We have our height, which we don't want to add into the ground. That is our fuel tank, which we have more than we know what to do with. And that is the temperature gauge, where we don't want to get too far above 90. 100 is bad when things start exploding. So, like in our classic, we have, hello, we have a gunner who is much closer than we are. And it is a random flight of Bristol's, and what are you? Oh, uh, Newport 28s. That's going to suck. We have our horde of German aircraft in front of us, none of which I can clearly identify at this point in time. And away we go. You are? Oh, albatrosses. Oh, no, 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 no. Hi! Whoop. And a tail gunner who is quite eager to get some kills in. All right. Ah, uh, he's going somewhere. Uh, let's go find another albatross. So the Bristol, unlike the de Havilland, is far more agile in its native controls. However, it tends to also be a very ruddery plane. So if you want, whoa, that didn't quite go so well. Jerked sure that too hard. It's a little bit more sensitive on the controls. Gotta back up that just a bit. In fact, a lot more sensitive on the controls and a little less absolutely stable than the de Havilland, so it will go over. Looking at that is a Bristol. That is an Albatross. Somebody shooting at me? No, good. Yeah, not enough lead. Trying to get him. Now, I highly recommend anybody who's new to this plane to try the Aldous site and figure out where things happen. Because once you're familiar with it, you can do things like just sort of say, ah, the plane's pointing this way, gun's pointing that way. And that should knock out something important. Okay, he's going somewhere. That is another Albatross! Albatross D5A was kind of every, was kind of the plane that the, that the, sorry. Yep, you're an albatross. Should I? Pot it. it was really the plane that the German Air Force ended up using. I don't like this. Most of all, mostly because albatross had a really top quality fabrication facility, and the early albatrosses were very, very good. But they had a high. 
at least compared to their contemporaries, and you're gonna go right smack in. No, no, I don't know what you are. That has crosses, therefore it is hostile. So we're gonna go in on this guy, check my engine temperature. He's going for a low swoop on somebody. The thing was, they got enamored of the Susquehanna layout and had a lot of trouble keeping the wings on. And the construction was a laminated plywood thing, if I recall correctly. Hello, hello, hello. Yes, that is crosses, not roundels. So it was a lot more expensive to make these than the tube and steel. I don't know where he's going, so I'm just going to break off and let him go. Yeah, he's either breaking off or going down. You were at Bristol, so we going to go behind me. Oh, hello. You are a nice... Whoa! Let's stall this thing and pop something off. Important. Oh, you're lining up on me. Hello. I just like that a lot. I am going to take exceptions. Bristol. Yeah, he's not dead yet. Yep, yep, yep. Not look like he's happy. All right, so one of these guys, that is a British, which means the guy shooting at him is probably German or an idiot. But I'll bet on German. Because the AI, despite sometimes making ridiculous relate mistakes, does not actually generally make friend or, friend or foe IFF problems does not generally have IFF problems. Headbutting smack into problems, yes, but IFF, no. Not a thing they get wrong. Yeah. That's a very human thing to screw up. So he, he is on fire. Breaking off, whoa. <sighs> He's on fire. No! Whoa! AI does like to do that! Alright, anybody else out there that's not particularly friendly? As in, like, explicitly hostile as opposed to merely just trying to kill me for, for uh, shits and get flips and giggles? I don't know where you are. <clears throat> Wing layout looks interesting. I'm gonna go see who you are, because you might be hostile. Yeah, so the thing was the albatross. Ah, uh, where'd he go? Ah, uh, fudge monkeys. Another somewhere? Well, phooey. Beers to have disappeared. <sighs> Hiding behind my massive engine, which is also a possibility, but... Alright. Uh oh. Well, he's westward, so let's check. Let's see if there's anybody back here looking at me. Nope. Nope. That's the wingman. It's wingman, wingman, wingman. Cool. 
So I think that was a rel that was a successful run. Let's check to see. Oh, shift. All right, let's see. One, two, three, four, four. Oh, so only three bristles. One, two, three, four. Oh, I can't. Oh, these are two. Oh, okay. So this may well have been a flight completely composed of to have uh, Albatross D5A. So let's get this done. First flight, pretty decent success. Albatross D5A or D5As are not great. So they were great when they were introduced. Oh, five kills, cool. They, uh, the Albatross D5As were great when they were introduced. D5A, D5A. So yeah, this was an entire flight of albatrosses. But the thing was that by the time of the D2, they'd pretty much perfected it. D2 or D3. And then they went to a sesquiplane layout, which really wasn't great. It had some structural issues that meant the wings would come off. So we're going to do another completely random flight. And we'll see what pops up this time. The idea here is to get fully back into the swing of how the uh, burst fit works, or the, I believe it was called the Biff at the time. Yeah, specification. Yeah, so this is the F2 with the, what was the engine on this thing? Oh, 255 horsepower, Rolls-Royce Falcon Mark II. Hits max power at 2,000 RPM. Uh, where are we at? Top speed is quite quick. The bigger engine is faster, of course. And we've got yeah, what we're going to need. Just double checking what we got. I'm leaving off the Aldis for now because technically not everybody had. Most people didn't have them. So, all right. Back on the show. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, the Albatross D3, D2, D3, those were all fantastic planes when they were introduced. The problem was. They never really advanced that much. Are those? Oh, we have a flight of de Havilland's over there. This will be interesting. Ah. All right, I have no idea what we're going up against. Uh, oh, no, no, not Halberstadt. Let's see what we got. Yeah, that's a bunch of Halberstadt's. Ah, shoots. See, the halberd stats are a pain in the behind because they have a tail gunner. Oh, hello. Something important. Where are they? Here you are. Which means if you get in too much of a tangle with one, the tail gunner is going to shoot you full of so many holes. If you don't take out the tail gunner first. Come on. <gasps> Shit! That was the wings coming off. Missed. Oh, hello. Mm. Apologies for non-suitable language and things that explode in my face. Oh, hello. Where's my gunner going? Mm. Okay, so these are actually supposed to be really good ones, I think. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, hello. Shit, 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 shit. He's on fire. The question is, is my engine leaking? That's a bit hot and toasty. Okay, that's a Bristol or a Havel, I'm not sure which. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, that's ground fire. Goody. Okay, we're gonna run here's back up. Don't like any of that. Should turn that part off. That's Bristol. That. That's the thing about these things, is because the tail gunners have a lot of accuracy from a long way off. They can really do a number on you if they decide to. He is smoking heavily. Question is, am I trailing? Not yet. Let's get shots on it. Mr. Hovland. Oh. Getting a bit too close to my stall speed, so. And they could run as floating, uh, flying pillboxes too, which cause problems. Yeah, so pretty much every angle on these things is dangerous. thing is I haven't seen anything else out there so it may just be okay gun jammed That's another one of the halibutter stats. I think that is, I'm not sure. Yep, it's shooting at me. Uh-oh. This is not good. Let's get over. Get some speed built up. I need to get some altitude so I can pl not play with, deal with this guy. What do we got going on here? Yeah, these guys are problematic. These guys are really more dangerous than the, um... He hasn't, he hasn't gone back. He may have been out of ammo on that pan. Yeah. Yeah, so the tail gunner, my gunner, is running a Lewis. It's got pans of ammo instead of, you know, belt fed. So every hundred rounds or so, he has to switch. Got a good tick there. Yes, this is a tail gunner duel. In my front uh, front 12 o'clock high. Dang, 
I need altitude. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I need airspeed. All right, I need to go do a quick. Nope, I am not streaming. Are you settling? Okay. What the hell's going on there? Uh-oh. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with the plane. A weird tilt. It's a quick external damage check. Oh, I am somewhat shoot up. Yeah, that's still working. All righty. Hmm. What is going on there? Lots of fire happening around that way. Don't know if that's ground fire. I am heading due north. So. Oh, yeah, it's a bunch of trucks. I'd probably gotta take that on the next flight. <sighs> All right, so what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to figure out who is what here. Somebody's shooting at somebody, which usually means Ella and Tant and, I and Central are going at it. Question is. Who is who? Because right now we have dots and tracers. Keep the engine decent operating. To Oops, that's too much. So, I want enough speed that I can do things. But because everybody is in... I'm not sure what that is. Yeah... Trying to figure out what we're looking at. One of these guys is allied, one of these guys is not. I think that's the Halberstadt. I think that's probably the Halberstadt. No, wait, wait, wait. Wrong color, wrong color, wrong color. Who are you? Friendly, okay. Who are you? You, I think you are the Halberstadt. So, that kind of looks like a De Havilland 4 that has blue wings. So I'm thinking. I don't know who you are. Shit. Are you seriously? Yes, you are. Dang. I think after this guy, it's time to beat tracks home. That has a suspiciously De Havilland like tail. Whoa, Aston. Where did he go? Damn. I have definitely taken some engine damage here. Because he just popped right back up over me, and I don't have airspeed to deal with him. Even coming in from a high altitude. Last of my belt. 
No. Yeah, he's dead. I'm not sure what you are. I know there was a fight going on up there. One of you guys may be hostile. So... That... I think it's under, that's the half one. Twins. Hmm. Okay. Alright, so I think that, unless this guy is coming in to shoot at me, which he might be, uh, that looks more British. I think that's a British thing, that might be a Bristol. See if anybody's coming up behind me. Yeah, we got right proper chewed up this time. Oops. All right. Plenty of you to get back. Radiator's happy. Is our speed pretty slow? All right, cool. I think this is good for a set. And away we go. Sideways. Plop. Oh, let's see. Yeah, how much that chewed me up. That's normal. All right, so Halberstadt 200, Halberstadt 200, 200, 200, 200. Since there were five of them, I assume that means that we had a full wing of Halberstadt 200s. Awesome. Those are a pain. Yeah, the thing about the Halberstadt, too, the Halberstadt is that tail gunner is quite dangerous. So, whew. but I think that does it for one day. See you on the next one. Fly safe and try not to hit the ground too much.